So how did it go? Were you able to do the homework? Well, I hope you did. I hope you at least tried. But let me just show you my solution so you can compare yours with mine. So let's implement the interface for categories. So I'm going to right click services and add another class. And I'll call this one category repository GUI. And of course we want this to implement the interface. So let's bring it in by inheriting or implementing the I category repository GUI. And you can see that it's underlined because we now need to implement the interface and all the methods. So we have four methods to implement and the get categories and get category by ID are very similar to what we coded for the countries repository. So I'm going to go inside the countries repository and I'll start with the get countries and I'll copy everything in it. And I'll bring it in my category repository GUI inside get categories. So let's make a few changes. First of all, we don't want country DTO to be returned from this method. We want the category DTO. So that's going to be our first change. I'm going to copy that and also create new list of type category DTO. And I'll replace down here where we read the task. We will not be reading the content of country DTO list, but category DTO list. Next, I'm going to change the variable. I don't want this to be, of course, called countries because we are getting categories. So I'll name it categories. I'll copy that because we have few instances of that. First of all, down here, instead of countries, I'll change this to categories because that's what we are building. We are getting categories list from the result of the read task. And at the end, we will return categories. Next, we have the HTTP client, but we need to bring in the namespace, which is system.net.http. And finally, we need to change the address. Now the base address is the same, localhost slash API, but after that we have slash not countries, but categories. And that's the only changes we needed to make. So we have our list of categories, of type category DTO. We have our HTTP client make our call based on the address localhost slash API slash categories and we grab the result. We make sure that the result is okay. If it is, we read the result of type category DTO list and then we will assign the result to our variable categories which is the categories DTO list and at the end we'll return it. So as simple as this, our get categories method has been implemented. So next let's implement get category by ID.